after learning new details about life in captivity for a Marquette University graduate. Melinda has stepped into the newsroom with James Foley's final letter to his family, which was just made public, Melinda. Well, before Foley was executed by Syrian captors, he knew his family wasn't obtaining the letters that he was writing. So picture this. Just before a fellow hostage was released in June, he asked her to memorize an entire letter that then she could dictate after she was released. And here it is. Take a look. Posted by the free James Foley website, it starts by saying how memories of his family helped take his mind away from prison. He then describes the conditions, quoting now, 18 of us have been held together in one cell, which has helped me. We have had each other to have endless long conversations about movies, trivia, sports. We have played games made up of scraps found in our cell. We have found ways to play checkers, chess, and risk. He continues later, I have had weak and strong days. We are so grateful when anyone is freed, but of course yearn for our own freedom. We try to encourage each other and share strength, and we are being fed better now and daily. We have tea and occasional coffee. I have regained most of my weight lost last year. Now we have a link of the entire letter posted on our website, WIS com. Marquette will remember Foley at a service at the Church of Jesus tomorrow night at 6. Back to you in the studio. Melinda, thank you. And in honor of the Marquette graduates, Sobelman's on the Marquette campus is donating 50% of its food sales today to a scholarship fund set up in Foley's name. Sobelman's is located on 16th and Wells in Milwaukee. The restaurant is open today from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m.